Hi guys, this is Woody. Today we're gonna talk about movements, the importance of movements, and also some tips and tricks when it comes to moving around in Blast Town. Because of the popularity of the quick draw decks, a lot of newer players could feel pretty overwhelmed when lots of bullets are coming at them. While this feeling is normal, I can assure you that bullet spam is mostly avoidable with good movements. And the rare times that cannot be avoided if timed correctly, we should have a Nova or Shield on our bench to block the unavoidable incoming pellets. In order to test this idea, in this video, I will only be using Curve Viper and Nova Hurricane, two weapons that require precision and unable to spam pellets on my opponent. I will, however, seldomly use Nova and Shoddy for defensive purposes. This will ensure I will spend a lot of time dodging and waiting for desired we weapons to spawn, especially when faced against a good player like Tom number two. A single curved viper probably would never hit him, so I'd have to wait for two weapons to combo at him. Therefore, give us plenty of examples of utilizing movement to, in to avoid incoming shots. Before we start with the tip though, I want to give a quick shout out to Tom number two for jumping in queue with me and also writing a very detailed guide in regards to the basics of this game, which I actually use some of his content making this video. If you're interested in checking that out, the link will be in the description of this video. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's go over some of the basic mechanics. Tip number one, the direction you're looking determines the direction of your torso. If you turn more than 45 degrees left or right or down, your body will start to turn with your head. Turning fully sideways with your head as well as your body is the key to dodge efficiently in this game. This way, you can simply turn out of the way and not having to maneuver your entire body. Tip number two, your head can touch the floor, but your body cannot. You can only duck so low before your body won't go lower. So laying flat on the ground does not do much. Tip number three, you only take damage for being out of the bound if your head is out of the bound. As you get close to the boundary, little gray hexagon appears. Be careful not to cross them with your head or you will die very quickly. Once again, your torso and hand can be out of the bound as long as your head is inbound. Now, the basic game knowledge is out of the way. Let's go over actual movements and positioning. Tip number one, when you're not shooting weapons, you should stand on the middle back end of the podium. Therefore, give you plenty of time to react to incoming bullets and you have enough area to move either left or right. Tip number two, when you are shooting, try to step closer to your opponent. Remember, your hands can be out of bound. You wanna step closer to shoot, especially if, if, if you have fast firing weapons like Viper Eclipse or regular Eclipse. Then quickly step back after the shots are fired to avoid incoming damage from your opponent. Tip number three, this one is very important. Always try to keep an eye on your opponent so you know what is coming at you. I see a lot of newer players make this mistake by looking directly at their spawning weapon and run towards it. This is such an easy way for your opponent to sneak in a quick viper shot at you. Remember, if you ever need to take your hands off your opponent, it can only be a quick glance. Tip number four, jump and ducking are great to avoid bullets. Practice and use them efficiently. And last tip of them all, stay calm. Do not move frantically. A little bob and wave while you're standing still is good, but do not run around like a headless chicken under any condition. A good player can easily pick up your pattern in your uncontrolled frantic movement. When it comes to perfect movement, I like to refer to a quote from a famous martial artist named Bruce Lee. It goes something like this. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle and it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. This is something that we should all practice towards to. Be 
water. Whoever gets first can probably whip the other person's behind backwards. Anyhow, I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to su subscribe to the channel and like the video. Leave a comment while you're at it to help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this to the very end. I appreciate you guys.